Thank you for dropping by my brand new series, Easy Ways to Start a Story for 8 to 11 year olds. Now I'm going to dive right in. I've got two characters, Ethan and Angie. Now you can use anything you like because initially it's you a story. I'm just going to give you ideas on how to start them off. Ethan sat up in bed and wiped the sleep from his eyes. The sun filtered in through the curtains. He suddenly realised it was Saturday. No school! He was so excited he punched the air. Angie sat at the breakfast table. She was eating her favourite cereal, chocolate cornflakes. She turned to her mum and said, Mum, can I stay in today and play my video game? Her mum said, no, you can't, Angie. She said, why? She said, aren't you going to be meeting Ethan down the park by 10 o'clock? <gasps> Angie had forgotten. Her heart sank. There you go. Once upon a time, once there was, nowhere in sight. This is easy ways to start stories. Here's another tool. Ethan sat on the swing in the park. He was drinking a bottle of water. It was quite a hot day. The wind whistled across the park and ruffled his hair and rippled his white t-shirt. He was a bit worried because he had to go home and face his parents. <gasps> Angie was standing in the queue. It was boiling hot and beads of sweat were forming on her brow. She couldn't wait to get to the front of the queue to have a strawberry cone with chocolate sprinkles on top. Mm. Well, there you go. Easy ways to start a story without using once upon a time or one day or anything like that. So I'd like you, if you would, to subscribe to my channel, to like and put a comment, to tell all your friends. Teachers, if you're watching these videos and enjoying them, at the end there'll be details on my website and how you can contact me if you want me to do a school visit where I do presentations and author talks. So thank you for dropping by and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye for now.